I wanted to make a film about fashion that was as transparent as possible, that helped people see the industry as I do, but also I wanted to learn more about it as well myself. We went to Google and saw what people were typing in there, and then we asked the British Fashion Council as well for their opinions on how they'd like to instigate change within the fashion industry. We also asked for people's comments on what they'd most like to know. And weirdly, those things all kind of aligned. Megan Rue wanted to know, how do you break into the fashion industry if you don't get into a prestigious school or live in a fashion capital? We asked Christopher Kane about that. You don't have to go to the best colleges to be these famous designers. You can go to amazing colleges all around the world. You all might want to be designers, but in a way, get that out of your head. Right. Because there are so many great jobs you can get through that fashion system. As well as trying to speak to designers and, and kind of household names in, in that field, I think it was interesting to talk about the psychology of fashion. I don't think the change will happen overnight. I do believe that psychologists working within fashion will make a, a huge difference because they understand how to change people's perceptions. Yeah. Do you ever believe there will be a time where women of all shapes and ethnicities are represented in high fashion? If we had more of a spectrum of beauty, we would be able to see all these mixes playing out. Yeah. So different body shapes, different ages, different ethnicities. If one is interested in pursuing a career in the fashion industry, such as a creative director, what should their first steps be to accomplish that? I want to show to people that you can come from an orphan age. It doesn't matter your background, it doesn't matter your colour. If you believe in yourself, you can work in fashion. We spoke to young designers, we spoke to students at Central St. Martins. I realised there's like a million jobs that I want to do. I was very excited about the trend forecasting agency. Hello, everyone's looking at asses. <laughs> I definitely have more respect, having done this, for the people that work behind the scenes in the fashion industry. I was really inspired by that younger movement, kind of stepping outside the box. I think it's a pivotal point in time for the industry, the fashion industry, is changing so rapidly and I suppose this is just kind of a snapshot of a moment in time when things went from the old guard to the new guard and we're right in the middle. Subscribe to British Vogue's YouTube channel to make sure you never miss an episode of my series. Thank you.